Hey guys, MTG Noop here, and I'm going to be bringing you another Gate Crash Draft. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I notice in this pack is the True Fire Paladin, Sky Knight Legionnaire, we got a Syndic of Tides, Ivy Lane Denzian. I don't know if this guy's a first pick, but I really do like him. Um, Experiment 1 is also good. Simic Manipulator. I think is going to be really pretty sweet, but I don't think he's the pick. Um, kind of really don't know what to take from this pack. I don't know the power level of all the cards yet. I mean, Experiment 1's pretty solid, and Ivy Lane Denzian's pretty solid, but Syndic of Tides is pretty good. I did go. Um, Orzov last time, so I'm kind of liking that strategy. True Fire Paladin's really good, though. I'm going to take the Syndic of Tides. And we get another True Fire Paladin. Okay, the thing is, we're definitely putting somebody into Boros, so the cards we get back aren't going to be great. Our person to our right took the rare, so we can't really take much from this pack. If I would have taken the IV card, I would have taken this, but I'm going to take the Kingpin's pet. Okay, Grizzly Spectacle, check. Um, I like the Guild Mage a lot, but Grizzly Spectacle is really good. Plus, it's a sign that these people don't want to be in black. So, so far, pretty sweet. Let's just keep trying to get some extort cards and really, really, really um, try to get there. Okay, so after a quick pause, because people are taking a while, uh, I'd rather not waste your time. Um, let's look at our options. Now, there's really nothing going for us here. Um, Miming Slime is really good. We are getting a pretty open green signal, but I haven't seen anything to make me think that being an Orzhov is wrong. So, the Confessor here... I really kind of like it and want to try it out. Um, the other pick is the Gargoyle, and Flying is really strong in this deck, but it's pretty obvious that green is being shipped our way, but I'm going to stay the course and, and try to figure out if I can, you know, maximize what we're doing. Okay, so Boros Gilgate is good. Um, the rat is better in the deck than you think because you need some early things. I'm uh, not getting a very clear signal. It seems like Gruul is, is open. We've been passing some some red cards and some black cards, so I don't want to just jump into it. Uh, I think I'm going to just pick up the rat here um, as a card. Okay, and we've got a key rune. Geez, we're passing pretty much the not Boros deck currently, not Gruul slash Boros deck even with this. Um, this guy's pretty good, I think. Um, he's not really good in this deck. This guy's really, I really do like this guy a lot, but I don't know if I want to go splashing blue. Usually you play these two colors. I think I'm just going to take the early drop and watch him grow, hopefully. Okay, Dutiful Thrall, another experiment one, jeez, we are not in the right guild, especially at Guildgate. I like Dutiful Thrall in this, um, this guy's okay, he's not amazing. So we'll take another Thrall. Foil Madcap skills is crazy. This pack must have been not great, uh, I mean insane, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, rapid Hybridization is good. Uh, some of these cards we could be splashing for. I, I wish I was in the Boros deck. I should have taken it, but we'll take another bear. Oh, God, I don't even think I want to take this bear. We only have two extort guys, so this is going pretty weak, but I'll take the bear. Okay, and here's our pack back. Um, this guy might be good with extort. We're really not getting what we want to get. Um, I think I'm going to try to take this and see what happens. Maybe we have to be blue. All right, the fact that this is here, I don't know if it's too late to get away from things, but we gotta we gotta keep our options open as clearly we're not in the right guild. Um, we don't have anything really very strong. 
Um, I was hoping we would get some goodies after this, but we'll see what happens. Like this guy's real nice because when it dies, you could block with it, rebuy it to your hand, and then trigger extort. But right now we're just kind of like uh, some sort of bear dot deck, which isn't sexy. Okay, so nothing really for us. I'll just snatch up the sprite unless we gotta go blue. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so let's hope we uh, turn it on in this pack and open really well. Since right now we're looking not so much in the sexiness realm. Actually, I might want that one drop. Let's open Clan Defiance, not in our colors. God, that's such a bomb that we might have to just... There's really... Like, if I stay the course and I pass this Clan Defiance, I'm giving up a Devour Flesh, and I don't really love that card. Uh, I'm going to take the Clan Defiance, and we're just going to be all over the damn place, and that's it. So, you know, it's a little late to be jumping, but we do have two solid green cards. Do you have a black card? So maybe we go Jund and just kind of cut the white. Um, we're not really losing much with the with the white being cut and having this and this is pretty decent. And I really do love this card. In case you don't know, this card's amazing. Um, this guy is a flying demon that costs seven which is probably too slow for the format um, and the way our deck was working out it seems like having this on any of our guys would be pretty sweet but I think I'm a sucker for a good demon so I'll take the demon okay cartel aristocrat okay we kind of more or less have to decide where we're gonna wow really Oh, I think I want to be green. Biomass mutation is just the nut. All right, well, throw everything that we've been doing out the window so far, because now we're just all over the place, and I think we're abandoning the white to go gruel. Um, is gruel charm better than gruel guild mage? I don't know. We're just going to hide the white and hide the... Okay, well, signals are being taken from this. And hopefully we're not too late to jump on board, because this has been good, I guess we can say. We picked up a biomass mutation, which is really pretty sweet. Um, now we get the bat, which kind of sucks because I really do like the bat, but I think we've committed to the green plan now. So the bat being here, it's like, ah, I wish that was here, but we're we're in on the green plan. Bio shift's pretty decent. Uh, I think I'll take the five drop. That evolves. And we'll take a two drop so we don't get blown out. We're three color black. We're three color jund with currently no real plan other than trying to survive to late game, I guess. We have ten creatures, so we're probably not doing so great. Um yeah, miming slime's good, I heard. With you have this and this. Some small guys. Gruel Rage Beast is good. Mining Slime. An Ooze. That's like a creature. I don't know. <laughs> Should have taken that mugging. That's what I, I'm thinking. Um, none of these are great. I don't mind this card. It's actually not bad. I kind of want to hack this. But I think I'll take the playable since we don't really get um, much choice. Tower Defense. We're kind of weak to flyers, I guess we could say. I think this is more of a blowout for us versus this, so we'll take the defense. Hopefully we wield something from that crazy rule pack. This definitely fixes our mana, and I don't think we're playing a 7-6, so I'll take the Haven, gladly. Um, okay, I don't want either of these. 
not a good car. Sure, hack up a thing. All right, well, we have a good late game, so what we're trying to do now is more or less fill up the middle of our curve because currently the fact that nothing came back from that crazy gruel pack, that's not what I wanted to open. This pack is just balls for us, which is very unfortunate. Like, we really needed a hit here, and Spectre's too hard to cast. Um... Timer, double strike, that guy's pretty good. This is not playable in our deck. There's absolutely nothing for us here. Could take the key rune for fixing. I would have even taken a guild gate out of this pack, but not so much. Um, I guess we take a scorch walker and say thanks for playing. Ooh. Are we just all in on four color madness? with no fixing. Just try to be fixing. I don't think so. I think we take this oh god, this pack. See now this is a pack I wish I had like something's coming back. So let's let's hope that like Pit Fight comes back. Pit Fight's probably just better than Gruel Charm. Uh we do have eleven creatures. I really like this guy. Or girl. I think it's a guy. Um and if it's our curve better and we have to draft for a need now, which is pretty much this, but this is so good. Maybe we're just four colors. Are we white? Maybe we're not black. We're definitely gruel. Maybe we're Naya. Jeez, sorry guys. Maybe we're not black. You know what? I'm going to take the Foundry Champion, and we're just all in on just this crazy-ass deck. And just whatever we get, we get. I, I do like that, but I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to take cards, and that's nice. If they come our way, they come our way. Um, I don't really see anything that's great, so I don't think we're black, believe it or not. Wars off key rune. Take a green card. I'm just looking. I'm looking for anything here. Anything? I mean, maybe we just take this worm. I don't think we do, though. This is just madness. This is madness in a bottle. Oh, jeez, thanks. Okay, nothing really for us. I think I'll hack the hard counter. This has to be the most undisciplined draft I've ever made I've ever done. And just taking big fat bombs is not gonna win you the game with no fixing. So any verdant havens we see we're just gonna take. We have like so many guild we have good we have good cards. They just don't play well together, like hide blue, hide black, cry, because like some of our core, we don't even have enough creatures. Like we're going to have to play some subpar stuff in this deck. Like, yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, you're good. We're playing you. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. So what I've learned from drafting... Um, this set so far is mana bases, especially in three color decks, are very important. And currently we just have a lot of nice bomby cards, but we're not going to easily be able to cast them. So that being said, we're just kind of sitting here like, eh, well, you know, we'll have some guild mages and not enough fixing and we'll see if we can get completely lucky because if we go 1-2 with this, it's it's a success. Um, would love the Gruel Charm, but I think we gotta take the dude. Two of these. This is the nutty Gruel pack that I wanted back the pit fight from. So good, but. Uh, sure. 2 1 with no gates. Try 
try not to get blown out by this. We don't have any removal. It's a green creature. Right now, green Q. Oh, thank, thank you. I don't even know. It's happening on tap gate you control. Or, I, I bet you could build around this deck. Uh, this card, excuse me. Oh, silly Leyline Phantom. Alright, well, we got a Boros Key Room. I'm just going to close my eyes and cry. <laughs> this draft is just so top heavy that. Oof. Whew. I'm just sitting here, sad panda moments of the world. I don't even know if we play the white, to be perfectly honest. Maybe we just splash the white. Who knows? Okay. We really don't have a lot of good white cards. This guy's not good. Just taking things out and seeing what we can play here. Okay, you're possible. I think we're a subpar gruel deck. Gruel. I mean, that being said, we have two gruel bastards over there. Um, That's our Boros stuff. I think this gets played as well. So we have 14 cards, and I think we have to play this as well. So this is our Gruel deck. Now, that being said, our Boros is pretty nasty. We have like three really good Boros cards. I think we actually play this, believe it or not. So let's move this down. And that's 12 creatures. I don't think we play this. Maybe we play this. Maybe we play this. Um, if we're playing Boros, it's over there. We can't play... I'm kind of glad I got off of the Orzhov plan because it was just going to be more underpowered than this. This is not great, but that was going to be awful. This guy sucks. Um, and then we would probably play this and the Scorch Walker. So that's our... Our black is pretty much a bomb to like really big things like this guy's not really a bomb but still he's a 7-7 seven, seven flyer and yeah so we can more or less I think play this I think the scorch walker goes in no matter what and I think we play the key rune and I think we do play the syndic of tides the foundry champion boros charm and the boros guild mage and we're at 22 um, I think we could possibly play these. This is a 23rd card. We can also play the Thrill, but not not off of zero Black Splash. Um, we can also choose to play the Tower Defense, and we can also choose to play 18 lands, which is a possibility. So now let me sort all this garbage. I'm happy we picked up a Boros Charm. I got like a lot of cards that I wanted from this draft, if that means anything. I mean, this is 16 creatures, so I can't cut any creatures. Verdant Haven and Boros Kirun. I don't think we need 18 lands in this deck. I just don't think it's uh, too amazing. All right, so we need one cut. Um, this is probably getting cast like way late. Um, Tower Defense shores up our anti-flying problem, but I think that's more of a sideboard card. Whereas Wildwood Rebirth is pretty good at like rebuying like. Um, dudes that are used for blood rush. Um, I wish I had a gate. This guy's not great, but we're kind of hoping. We have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 green creatures, 12 if you count this. We rebuy it. So it's, it's, not, it's not the worst. I mean, maybe we don't play this extort bear just to keep the mana better. That's an option, but I really, I honestly don't have any other green creatures that I'd rather play over it. I'm like looking really fast. I mean, I have a red creature here. Um, he's not great. Maybe he's just better than this. This is going to be hard to cast. I mean, we do have the Boros Key Rune, so that's, that's a thing. I'd rather have one more green creature. Anywhere? Green creatures? Are you anywhere? Um, we could just not play the Syndic of Tides and 
just more or less play. He's good. He's a very good bear. I'm not gonna lie, and maybe play the tower defense or an 18th land. But I think this is fine. I think if we get him in hand, he's gonna kind of suck. But it is what it is. All right, let's add some land, and then they say no. They're making me play blue, which is not what I want to do. All right, they say eight forests. Um, we have one, two, three, four white. So four white. I really don't want to only play five mountains. If I, I, I think I'm cutting this bear. I'm going to cut this bear and play 18 lands. I also don't know if I want all these white sources. Four white sources is a lot for three white cards with a key rune and a verdant haven. Um, these two do try to come down pretty early, but we would probably move them later in the game. Like, they don't have an insane effect on the game. Well, they kind of do, but... Um, actually, maybe I want an, that extra white source. I think six red sources is more than enough, and eight. If we don't hit a forest, we're going to be sad, though. So that's why maybe we want an additional forest. I think eight, six, four is fine, especially with a key rune. Maybe since we have the key rune. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to try the extra forest. So we have one, two, three things that require white. So we have three, and we have a Boros Key Room, and we have the Burden Haven, which is fine, I think. All right, so let's uh, let's suit this up and head into battle. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.